this allows uh, anyone sitting at the, at the table and using Windows, Apple, or Android devices to wirelessly display to the screen. This is a normal uh, interactive screen and has lots of different functionalities. It may happen that uh, previous users have used the screen a different way. To reset it to that screen, you need to press this button and then the top one and HDMI one. So that HDMI one is uh, the display that allows the wireless presentation to work. Okay, so in other words, because this room can be used by students independently when there are no timetable classes in there, it's possible you might come along to do a session in the room and find that the screens are not showing this display. Yeah. And you then have to sw make sure you switch the screen to HDMI 1. Yeah. HDMI 1. Yeah. Okay. Can I just ask you about these, um, these uh, uh, icons on, on the screen? So um, Mirror Op is an app, isn't it? That, that a user, if they're using a, a Windows device, they, yeah. they need to download that app to the Windows device in order to be able to wirelessly display to the screen. That's correct. AirPlay in the middle, that's just built into any Apple device, yeah. an iPad or an iPhone. And the mirroring 360, is that built into Android devices? It's not building in Android devices, but it's a free software that you can download. Okay, right. And so we've got the QR codes which, can, uh, which students can scan and that would give them the direct link where to download it. We also have some short URLs here that if you just tap it in a browser, it will send you to where you can download the software. Okay, that's great. And in the middle of the table, there is power for students. There is power and USB, USB. Uh, for the students. Okay, yeah. great. All right, thank you very much.